We're not there yet, uh, and we really hope we don't have to get to the point where rationing begins. That being said, yes, th that there will be less water, and the first thing that will be asked to be cut will be outdoor water use. So you just shut out everybody out? Yeah. A warning from the head of the Department of Natural Resources about Utah's drought emergency. If we don't all do our part to conserve, we'll face shortages around the state. Now and new at 530, Fox 13's Ben Winslow has the very latest from Salt Lake City. Across the state, streams, creeks, and reservoirs are drying up as Utah's drought emergency continues. And state officials are talking about what could happen if we start running out of water. We are using more water than that we can provide. In the Cache County town of Hyde Park, an emergency alert went out. If residents keep using water at the rate they are, tanks will be empty by Saturday. Part of the issue is how the water tanks refill. The tanks empty, then we wouldn't have the water that's needed for fire protection and for uh, use inside of their homes. Fox 13 spotted people watering in the middle of the day. The mayor is calling on residents to cut outdoor water use by 50 percent. They need to conserve water in order for the health and the safety of the people of Hyde Park. Across Utah, water levels are low. We did not have a good snow year. Here are the reservoirs facing the biggest shortages right now. Some are close to running out. One in Gunnison is empty and soils are extraordinarily dry. It's got state leaders looking at the future. I would just be very, very wary about how we use water this year. I think that we have to plan on it maybe not being better next year. Many water districts in the state say we have enough to get us through this year, but if things don't improve, they're talking about rationing. We're not there yet, uh, and we really hope we don't have to get to the point where rationing begins. That being said, yes, th that there will be less water, and the first thing that will be asked to be cut will be outdoor water use. So you just shut out everybody out. Yeah. There's provisions in Utah state law that allow for shutoffs in extreme circumstances. People need water to live, and so we will prioritize culinary water and water for sanitation and water for fire suppression. But we may be able to avoid that. It's why the state has emphasized a reduction in outdoor water use and seriously rethinking landscape to preserve water in the face of Utah's ongoing growth. What we do this year really will have an impact on how much water we have to use next year if this drought continues. Now, the state's natural resources director says there will be more of an emphasis on getting rid of lawns and replacing them with water-wise landscaping. He says the idea of a sea of grass around everyone's home is a trend that's probably near its end. In Salt Lake City, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.